Should the trees that are left behind after timber harvest be scattered throughout the landscape or clumped into patches? This is a question that DNR and partners are researching about new forest management approaches to maintain and grow wildlife habitat. Trees are left in harvest units for two reasons. First, to provide existing habitat while the new forest develops, and second, to provide future forests the habitat complexity in the form of large trees. Keeping live trees in harvest units is an integral part of DNR's forest management. These trees, left in the replanted forest stands, are changing the way forests function. On one of many sites throughout western Washington, DNR and partners from the U.S. Forest Service and universities have a long-term test of different densities of the leaf trees. They're examining effects of harvest approaches on the productivity and growth rate of the new forest and the quality of forest habitat. This study's been going on for 15 years and helps us evaluate, over time, the effects of leaf tree numbers and configuration in harvested areas. Starting with forests of the same basic structure, harvests retain either 15%, 40%, or 75% of the forest on the sites. Three sites have trees left in an evenly dispersed pattern, and three sites have trees in large circular patches. Early results indicate that leaf trees in patches reduce tree damage and provide some short-term habitat for forest organisms that are sensitive to disturbance and the leaf patches are easy to work around. Dispersed leaf trees are somewhat difficult to work around and can be sensitive to wind disturbance. Scattered trees shade planted seedlings and slow their growth. However, in the future, these dispersed trees will serve as the anchor for future older forest habitat over large areas. This project provides valuable information for managers so they can better understand the current and future values of large trees as habitat features in the developing forest and will continue to provide new information for decades to come.